Shut up, Fejiro. You recorded us? Yes, I did. <laughs> Mandy, you have to delete that recording now. And why would I do that? Because I said so, Mandy. Look, we're going to be expelled if you don't. You're so out of touch if you think I'm going to delete that recording. <laughs> give me the back. Give me, give me, give me the back. <laughs> Jesus, I don't sit down there like a moron. Help me. Give me. Give us. Ah! Leave it. No. Give it. No. Give it. No. Give it. No. Give it. No. So what up good day everyone so this series is getting more interesting and more entertaining and in this video i will be giving you the updates on the episode 10 of the new girl so watch this video to the end to find out when the season 3 or the episode 10 of the new girl is going to drop so before we do that you're welcome back to this channel this is a channel where we bring you the updates on the best and trending nollywood movies Please like this video and if this is your first time coming across this channel, please use the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video because in this channel, we'll be bringing you all the updates that you need to know on the new best and trending Nollywood movie. So in case if you're watching this video now and you've not yet checked out the episode 9 of the new girl that just dropped not long ago on Yawa's Kids, then you're really missing out. Please hurry up and go to Yawa's Kids and check out the episode 9 of this wonderful movie because it's already out and only available on Yawa's Kids and the movie is getting more interesting and more entertaining and trust me, you really enjoy watching this episode. So before I go ahead and give you the updates on the episode 10 of this series and when it's going to drop let's just have a review of what happened on the episode 9 of the new girl that dropped not long ago on yawa's kids so like i've said before the movie is getting more interesting and more entertaining so after simi caused the breakup between tk and amanda simi later came back to tk's house to apologize to tk so simi went back to tk's house and told tk's sister to go inside and call tk for her and you know when tk come came outside she started apologizing to him telling him how she's sorry for everything she did how she's sorry for picking up amanda's call and talking to amanda telling amanda that she's always in her, in in tk's room and you know she apologized for everything and she promised tk that you know that she is going to keep her distance from tk since it's what tk wants since she knows that tk is only in love with amanda so when she was about to leave tk's house tk drew her back and shared a kiss with her and you know everyone was shocked with this kiss even simi is even surprised that TK kissed her and even TK's sister that was sitting there washing clothes she's even shocked with TK's reaction and you know I think TK made the wrong choice TK shouldn't have kissed Simi right in that moment because after she after TK kissed Simi after the both of them shared a kiss Amanda started calling TK to apologize to TK for everything and you know TK instantly forgot about Simi and told Simi that you know the both of them will meet later in school and went back inside to answer Amanda's call so if he if he I think he shouldn't have kissed Simi at that point like she he should have waited to be sure that he has already finally broken up with Amanda before sharing a kiss with Simi and now Simi that is even trying her best to forget about TK and you know give up and move on and forget about TK we now start reminiscing about that kiss and start thinking about that kiss all the time thinking that she still have hopes with TK so guys share your thoughts and let me know what you think about this situation on the comment section do you think that TK and Ama TK and Simi kissing at that point was a very wrong choice let me know what you think on the comment section because I personally, I think TK shouldn't have kissed Simi at that moment. So, after Simi left from TK's house, TK went back inside because when TK was standing with Simi, his phone was ringing. Amanda is already calling TK to apologize. So, TK went back inside to pick up Amanda's call to talk with Amanda and Amanda apologized for everything. Apologized for the way she spoke to him at the picnic and, you know, for breaking up with him. Apologized for everything and the two of them came back together. They started dating back again. So, Amanda 
Amanda went back to school and you know she's no longer in good terms. She's no longer friends with Kayla and Chisa. The both of them are just doing things separately, eating separately and you know their friendship has finally came to an end but Kayla is still frustrated. Kayla is still trying to make sure that she shows Amanda that she's the boss of this the boss of this friendship and all that. She's trying to show Amanda that her father owns this school, that she's always ahead of everyone. So while Amanda and Fejiro was busy eating at the school canteen, Chiza and Kayla left the canteen and they went back to the classroom. No, before they went to the classroom, they went to the clinic first to get some pieces of, you know, some stuff from the clinic and they added it into Amanda's drink that she left at the classroom. So after adding it to her drink, they left immediately and you know after the break time everyone came back to the class and when Amanda got back she drank the water immediately without knowing that they added in, they added something inside the drink so after drinking the water she started purging and you know she started going to the toilet every now and then and she couldn't even complete her role in the drama sets that they were all shooting so she, she keeps going back to the toilet so this kept on happening till she left the school and when she got back home her parents asked her what happened her dad asked her what happened but she didn't want to tell her dad what happened but she opened up to her mom and told her mom what happened so her mom had to check the drink that she came back with because when Amanda drank when Amanda drank that water she didn't finish the water so her mom had to check the water and she found out that they added some substance into the water and her mother and her father the three of them went back to the school and they reported this case to the school principal telling the principal what happened but the principal could not according to the principal the cctv is no longer working so they don't have any evidence against anyone and amanda's parents threatened the school authority that they are going to sue the school and you know the principal was trying to calm amanda's father down but he didn't listen and he left for he left the premises so when they got back home the next day amanda was trying to go back to school but amanda's father warned amanda not to go to school that you know it's no longer safe for her to be in that school because she don't know who her enemies is the first time they added something to her water and this time they might even end her life but amanda insisted on the fact that she would go back to school that she cannot let her bully win her over this case that she must go back to school that her father used to teach her to stand up and fight for their right that he cannot stop her from going to school and you know amanda's father tried to protect her child but you know amanda's voice was too strong and you know she was being serious so amanda's dad had to just allow her to go back to school that same day but her father wanted her to be very careful in school and make sure she protects herself from those bullies and the people harassing her in school so you see why i say that it is not a good choice for tk to kiss me at that point so now Simi started having secret admirers, like she started having love letters on her table. Every time she comes to school, she always see love letters on her table. And you know, she keeps wondering who is writing all these letters and all these very romantic and love letters. She keeps wondering who is writing all of them. So she showed she showed the letters to her friends and they keep suggesting what's happening and who is writing the letter, but they have no clue. But I, I know that Simi will be thinking that TK is the one writing those letters after TK shared a kiss with her. But I don't think TK is the one writing those letters. The letters keep kept on coming every time Simi comes to school. She always sees it on her desk. So guys, share your thoughts and let me know what you think about this on the comment section. Do you guys think TK is the one writing those letters for Simi, those love romantic letters? Let me know if you think TK is the one. But I personally, I don't think TK is the one writing those letters because TK and Amanda are back together. The two of them are back on good terms. And I know once TK is with Amanda, TK does not want to be with anyone else. She he, he does not want to give Simi or any or any other person any attention because he only loves Amanda. Let me know what you think on the comment section. Let me know who you think is writing those letters for Simi. So speaking of the relationship between Jaden and Amanda. Amanda kept on telling Jaden that, you know, that he should forget about that kiss, that the kiss the both of them shared in Jaden's car, that it meant nothing, that she and TK are back together, so that, she, that he should just forget about the kiss and everything. But Jaden keeps on telling Amanda that he's still having the memory on his head, that he just can't stop thinking about the kiss. But Amanda is, you know, telling Jaden to forget about everything, that the kiss was just a mistake, that she's finally back with TK. So... After, after long discussions and all that, Jaden finally, finally agreed and accepted to just be friends with Amanda to stop 
trying to be a boyfriend or something like that so guys also share your thoughts and let me know what you think about this situation also on the comment section do you think that amanda and Jaden will finally date in the next coming seasons do you think the both of them will ever have a chance together or not let me know what you think about this on the comment section so after chisa and kayla added something to amanda's water they didn't stop their bullying there so they went and poured on the canteen when amanda was busy eating with fejiro they went to pour their food on amanda and acted as if it was all a mistake but you know amanda already know that amanda already know that they are doing it on purpose so she had to go report to the school principal but the school principal could not do anything because it is because according to kayla and chisa they say that it was a mistake and you know this is it's not a big offense like that and after they poured the food on amanda Jaden came out and fought for amanda at that very moment and you know he even insulted kayla and you know kayla was so shocked and so angry with the situation and you know amanda even got angry for Jaden because she does not want Jaden to fight her battles because she believes that she can she is able to fight her battles by herself. Guys, I'm not even going to lie, Jaden have already tried for Amanda, like he has done a lot for Amanda, but Amanda keep disregarding him. But you know, Amanda already have a boyfriend, so I don't expect Amanda to go with Jaden because of all the good things that Jaden has been doing for her. But to be honest, Jaden have really tried for Amanda because he truly loves Amanda very well. And after all that, Amanda, Kayla and Chisa, they all jammed on the way. The both of them jammed on the way and they confronted each other. And during that confrontation, Chisa agreed and, you know, admitted that they were the one that did everything. They were the one that added something to her drink and they are also the one that poured rice on her purpose. You know, they admitted to all the whole wrongdoings they have been doing. But they do not know that Amanda has her phone on recording while speaking with them. So they, they all said all that and left. And when they left, Amanda went to face to show the Fejiro the whole recordings and everything. So before we could know what's happening, Fejiro has already told Kayla and Chisa that Amanda recorded the both of them admitting to what they did. And you know, they went and dragged in Amanda inside the lab and they comforted Amanda, told Amanda to delete everything. That why that why we should record the boot why we should record their conversations and all that. And you know, Fejiro apologized to Amanda for telling Kayla and Chisa that she got them on recording, but Amanda refused to give them the phone and they all tried to take the phone by force so they started dragging the phone until Amanda hit her head on the tires and she fell on the floor. So after falling, instead of Kayla and instead of Kayla and Chisa to help her and take her to the lab, Kayla was busy looking for Amanda's phone just to delete the clip of everything that they, they all said, just to delete everything that um, to delete the evidence that is with Amanda. And you know, that is how the episode 9 of this wonderful movie ended. So, guys, please share your thoughts and let me know what you think about this whole situation on the comment section. Do you think that Fejiro is, you know, Fejiro is being friends with Amanda and still and still working for Kayla and Chisa? Because I can't and tell how Kayla and Chisa found out that Amanda is with the recordings and Amanda recorded that conversation. I think Fejiro is working with the both of them so she had to report to the both of them because I think maybe they threatened Fejiro because Fejiro she's too scared like she can't even stand up for herself. She's too scared of Kayla and Chisa. So guys, please share your thoughts and let me know what you think about this whole situation on the comment section. So as we can all see, this movie is a very interesting and entertaining one and you wouldn't want to miss out on the episode 10 of this wonderful series titled The New Girl once it finally drops. If you want to stay updated with this series, don't forget to use the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you'll be notified because once the next episode of this wonderful series drops, I'll be making an update video in this channel to be letting you all know so i know after watching the episode 9 of this series that just dropped many of us will be wondering if there is going to be an episode 10 to this series or if this series ended in episode 9 or if the season 2 of this series has finally ended but i'm sorry to announce to you all that there will be no episode 10 to this wonderful series as the season 2 of the new girl ended in episode 9 what we'll be getting is the season 3 of this wonderful series but i don't think it will be coming up anytime soon i think it will take it will take a while before they start dropping the episode the season 3 of this movie and they will start all over from episode 1 from the season 3. 
So the season 2 of the series have finally ended, it ended in episode 9. So after watching this series from the episode 1 down to the episode 9 of the season 2 of The New Girl, please share your thoughts and let me know what you think about this wonderful series on the comment section. Did you enjoy watching the episode 2 of this series and most importantly, did you enjoy the way the season 2 of this wonderful series ended? Please share your thoughts and let me know what you think on the comment section and also don't forget that if you want to stay updated with the best and trending Nollywood movies, this is the number one channel where you'll be getting all the updates that you need to know so don't forget to please use the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so i'll be seeing you all when the season three of the new girl starts dropping have a very nice day everyone bye